As we journeyed from afar, today we showed the world who we really are, and that is Who is that? It's your journey club. What do you want? I just want to let you know that Liverpool as it united for seven. Boom. <laughs> what a day it was. What a day. Jurgen Klopp and his men displayed a masterclass piece against the well-informed Manchester United. At Anfield, as what Klopp said, United was it for seven. Not four, not six, but seven. And the thing is, both of Ten Ags, players of interest, Cody Gakpo and Darwin Nunes, were all on the score sheet, along with the Liverpool's all-time EPL top goal scorer, Mohamed Salah, who continues to terrorize Manchester United. And of course, Premier 7 would like to have a say. So, me kusi wagwa. Hello and welcome to another live session of Premier 7. I don't think I even have to mention my name, but my name is Ryan Nelson, coming to you once more from StreamYard. For all those persons who watched the game today, if you are a Manchester United fan, maybe you're unable to hear what I'm saying because more so, you're in heaven. And if you're a Liverpool fan, you're on the earth celebrating what an amazing win it was today. Without no further ado, it's all about Liverpool rips Manchester United into threads. This is a live match review. I mean, if you all watched the previous video that I have done, the preview that is between Liverpool and Manchester United. Remember the prediction, that is the winning probability. It was said that Liverpool, you know, was going to win by a way of a 38% to a 35% to Manchester United. And of course the balance would have been a draw, but over the years, the last five games that was compared before today as well showed that Liverpool was capable of whipping United before five goals to nil, four goals to nil, four goals to two, and a small draw. Well, United did have the chance previously where they defeated Liverpool by two goals to one. But seven, I mean, thank God. There's no CR7 <laughs> because maybe it would have been a bigger mystery. No, I mean, it is embarrassing and let's have a general talk. The league's table shows now that Liverpool is currently at fifth, right? And Manchester United is at Third, with that huge victory today, Liverpool have a very great chance. If continuing on this current form, they will be edging closer. But it's all about today. And I like to prove what I'm saying. So looking on the points table, here it is. Here's the proof. Liverpool is currently at 5th, 25 games, 42 points, 
47 goals, goal difference of 19, conceding 28. But for such a horrible run before and up to this date, Liverpool is climbing up the ladder. But as for United, they are still at third place, 25 games, 49 points, 41 goals scored, a goal difference of six, so it dropped and they considered 35 goals. Not good. What this means is that for Liverpool, they're climbing up, but for United, they are not moving. What will happen in the upcoming games? No one knows, but we all can attest to what was done today. So, of course, for Liverpool, they did not make any massive changes. And let's speak about the formation, right? Let's speak about the formation to you right here. Liverpool went ahead to use a 4-3-3 formation. Typical clock. And United went for a 4-2-3-1 formation. Typical Ken Hag. But the players that played today for Liverpool, you could say that most of these players played against Crystal Palace. And that game was a nil or draw. However, Liverpool had something in store. They defeated Wolves on Wednesday by two goals to nil. And I mentioned that Salah could have scored an trick And he almost scored an trick The same players played like Nunes, Gakpo, Fabinho, Elliot, Anderson. But as for Manchester United, it was the same thing as well. Players like Dalot, Varane, Martinez, Shaw, Casemiro, they all played. So the formation was the same for both managers. But the horrible performance fell on the shoulders of Manchester United. And for sure, it wouldn't have been a great idea for some fans to even stay at the stadium. Now, in that sense, what is my aftermatch respond for both teams? Nunes, Gakpo, was looking at the fans. There's Captain Anderson, and you see that person with the hair on his head? We know who he is already. That is Mohamed Salah. My aftermatch respond to Liverpool is just one word. Well done. Phenomenal, unexpected, but they played like Liverpool over the years when there was a Sadio Mane. Many persons were saying that players like Gakpo and Nunes cannot replace such. But when Mane was at Liverpool, never in a lifetime that was a score line. But, I mean, as I've said before to Liverpool, well done. Now, I'm going to keep Liverpool on my screen because it's all about Liverpool today. For Manchester United, my aftermatch response is that United need new owners. Eric Ten Hag is overachieving. This looks bad on his resume, but it is up to the players as well who did not play up to expectation. I am sure that he gave them um, the instructions and they did something else because the emotions took over. Players like Luke Shaw was disappointing. I won't place much on Martinez. He played well in the first half and even Fred. But Rashford looked lost. Bruno Fernandes, his behavior was worse. Yeah. And one word to United players and overall embarrassing. But of course, Liverpool, congrats in regards to your performances. And I hope that this will continue. Of course, I showed you four players, but three out of the four scored. And that is all about the top performers, Gakpo, Nunes, and Salah. Let's speak about Gakpo. So Gakpo, as you can see, that was a dink. Past David De Gea, he runs off with Robertson behind him, celebrating, and he showed the Liverpool fans that I am here to stay. Cody Gakpo was phenomenal. He played like the Gakpo at PSV. He played like the Gakpo for the Netherlands team. And he played like the Gakpo that Liverpool fans were looking for. He wasn't a part of my selected 11, but he proved himself that, hey, 
Gakpo is my name. I said it not on my channel, but I said it before that Gakpo will deliver at Liverpool at some point because of his personality. He's a person who believes in himself. He's a team player. And many persons will be saying that Van Dijk was the person who convinced him to come to Liverpool. Whether or not you want to say Van Dijk did, he made his decision. United was too slow. Ten Hag missed out and Gakpo delivered two goals today. And I mean, he is on a run now. Watch out for Gakpo. The next player on the list is, of course, the Uruguayan sensation. Darwin Nunes. The ball hit his head. He flicks it off. He runs to celebrate. And, you know, the Nunes special, the slide. I can remember him, Benfica, scored a brace against Barcelona. He was on Ten Hag's list as well in the summer. But Ten Hag missed out. But to tell you the truth, I mean, I am proud of Darwin Nunes. I said it to many persons that Darwin Nunes would be a top performer. Yes, this is his first season. But I believe for Manchester United fans, I know for sure that you all would have been, you know, in your feelings. That why is it that we missed out on Darwin Nunes? Imagine Gakpo scored against United two goals and Nunes scored against Manchester United with two goals as well. That is 4-0. Ten Hag asked or demanded for the Glazers to get this player. And Nunes showed the world that, hey, Darwin Nunes, like Cody Gakpo, is here at Liverpool to stay. Well done. And moving forward to the next person on the list, Mohamed Salah. Scored again, take off his shirt to celebrate. Not ready again in without his shirt, but he's ready in the heart as he lifts his eye to the heavens to give thanks to the Almighty. Who allowed him or helped him to do the more? He's the top goal scorer now for Liverpool, passing Fowler. Mohamed Salah is a legendary player and he's not yet retired from Liverpool. If he continues on this path, because that is the path that he was on when he started up to this point, he will score a lot more goals. Salah is the Egyptian king. I spoke about Salah before in my previous video, the last one, that he was my right winger for the combined 11. He was said to be on the score sheet and he was pointing that United, whether or not it is going to be at your home or my home, I will score. I may score one or I will score a hat trick. Not surprisingly, Salah scored today. He celebrated like a king and he rubbed the wounds of Manchester United fans and players like even Rashford who looked disconnected from the team. He rubbed their wounds that is unhealed. Salah is now the top goal scorer for Liverpool in the Premier League. 129. One ahead of Fowler that I spoke about before on 128 and Steven Gerrard who scored 120 goals. These players are remarkable. These players are sensational. And of course, by way of that, let me just take a quick break because when I come back, I want to speak about something important. So let's go for a break and come back. <laughs> All right, so what does this mean for Liverpool's future? This is what I wanted to say. Now, firstly, Liverpool is climbing up the ladder. Not going to win the Premier League, but can finish in the top four. Spurs is slipping up. United is at a stable position, can be in the top four. But Newcastle, is also slipping down like Spurs. Well, Liverpool, though, can be in the top four if all goes well for them. And with the two teams I mentioned before, apart from United, they could end up out of the top four. I tell you what, if Liverpool makes it into the top four, signings will be in. I don't know if they will get Jude Bellingham. 
but I believe that they should still get a right back. But the problem could be the owners of Liverpool may not sign any key players really for a club. But to me, they will. Not every player, but they will. Not like the Glazers, who may even stay at United. If they remain, it's curtains for Ten Hag. But Liverpool, I believe that they will not beat Real Madrid, but their confidence going forward in the rest of the games coming up in the Premier League, they will have a big chance to finish higher than fifth, if all goes well. Many persons like myself were saying that why players like Henderson is not sold, why players like Milner isn't sold, but we saw it today. Henderson is really a leader. Milner is now the record person that comes from the bench as a substitute. Players like those you want in your team. When the going gets tough, they can bring a calm. So, with that being said, I just know that Liverpool will have a very good chance to finish above the basic teams. I am coming to an end now. But I just want to say, I still have 50 subscribers. So, you know, I just want for you all to continue to watch, like, comment, share, and subscribe to Premier 7, where I speak about the top seven teams only in the Premier League. But, you know, I had to speak about Liverpool today because of their extraordinary performance. It was my pleasure. And you do have yourself a wonderful day. And goodbye.